Alright, right, welcome back to another hip-hop video. Now, today we're going to have a discussion about one simple topic that is going to be basically bring, uh, brought up. And I decided to bring this up when I literally put it up my album review. If you guys did not see that album review, uh, the link will be in the description down below. Make sure to go and check that out before you see this video because um, it's going to be a huge topic of this discussion. Hip-hop critics are not necessarily the best when it comes to knowledge about hip-hop itself. And it kind of just draws back a lot of things as far as um, what the culture is showing. Um, and the album I did yesterday is a prime example of that because I think a lot of people need to understand that the level of expectations that critics take to a certain extent is not exactly a similar take as what historians specifically decide to give and I'm willing to basically um, go through that in detail um, and let's just drive right into it now if you guys can see this on the screen right now you guys will see both of the ratings one from the critics and one is my rating now, if you notice the difference, you notice that in this particular one, there were high expectations of a album that was literally supposed to be blowing out of the books and all this stuff, and people expected it to be good because of the fact that, well, K. Dot come back, came back, now it's time for him to just release the same music that he used to release. Well, a lot of people have took minor criticism towards Kendrick Lamar because of certain instances in the album that literally tackled a lot of shit. For a prime example, his fan base that literally tackle him about the fact that, oh, he's not the same person he used to be and all this stuff. And then the same particular one in this scenario where he's basically tackling um, depression, grief, and he's literally giving a primary perspective on things in the LGBTQ community and in that particular perspective I've literally had to mention that there are times where I'll have to say this as a person and as a man of hope gratitude and most importantly <sighs> reasonableness I don't even think that's a word but just go with it bear with me here but basically there will always be a black and white frame for every critic known to man because of the fact that they literally think like this all the time they always say hey it's either good or bad when in reality um it can be bad, okay, good, great, and most importantly, magnificent. It's really not that hard to literally branch that out. But for some odd reason, critics don't grasp that as much as they're supposed to when it comes to like doing song and album reviews. It just seems to like go through their head and then gets wiped off towards the face of the earth so my confusion is that how is it possible that someone who is willing to take the time to do these album reviews such as me for example fit an entire criteria on K-Dot and keep in mind K-Dot is literally Put out nine out of ten albums. He has always done that since his career has started. And this is just based on my research and based on my studies. For someone else, it's a completely different story. Like I said before, Kendrick Lamar's rating fits between 
an 8.8 at least, and a 9.4. It's between that range. It always has. So, going back to these two, how is it possible that over the last few years, somehow the critics have literally decided to downplay Kendrick Lamar for a 7.6 or 7.8 to be specific because it basically round up to that but you get the point it somehow rounds up to that to basically me putting up a full on criteria in the album itself to get a 9.2 and like I said, man, it's because of the fact that the mindsets of critics are black and white, which makes the audience think black and white about certain artists. Hell, and even I had to say this before, and I'll say this again, Fantano, as much as I hate to say this, Fantano is not really a good critic reason being is because he thinks black and white too he thinks black and white in almost every scenario possible his way of thinking is not exactly the best because with him visual representation is non-existent to him as far as anything and you can even say like for some of them like DJ Academics, uh, <laughs> Black Rap Critic. It goes to these specific guys, and it shows you that they don't necessarily have any particular, like, mindset on it. They just literally are just being picky about certain shit that don't even fucking matter to the track itself. Like, say if you ask them this question. And I dare anyone to ask them this question. What do you think of their representation of what is portrayed on the album? Like, what is in that particular brief description that they decided to literally put on the album? What do you think about their visual representation? And how much you want to guarantee they will consider that trash because of the fact that they have seen it before? Again, and I will say this again as a person and as a historian itself, I have literally said this before. I have seen rappers do this time and time again, but the difference is I give them their props because they represent it very, very, very well. So it does not make sense to downplay it. Because they have, there are other artists who have done the same visual representation. It does not matter if they've done it before. And any particular artist have done it before. Did they portray it very well? And that's where that particular line has to be drawn. You have crossed the line way too many times about this so please anyone in the comment section right now please keep in mind keep in mind that there are and i repeat there are a lot of critics that think black and white some of them do think very neutrally and some of them are exactly in the same wavelength and they give good feedback which is good which is very very good there are certain critics that think black and white because of the certain things that have happened before. And that's where the mindset of taking out their credibility because somebody else has already done it. That's where they literally think that they deserve a bad rating. They deserve to be trash. They deserve to be bad. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense how you literally, literally, 
You call them artists, but yet they can't give you a visual representation of what they're trying to portray on the album without basically, and I quote, copying someone for a fairly similar thing that they have had. And here's another thing. Next video, I'm going to also tackle this whole thing about with Joiner because I'm not even finished that yet. I will work on that and I will actually tackle it with y'all um, eventually because I'm not going to hold you. These particular albums, I'm starting to realize the huge pinnacle of the black and whiteness in mindset of the critics. So, needless to say, you guys, please tell me in the comments if you guys have probably have seen this type of black and white thinking from any of the rap critics known to man, because please let me know, because I want to make sure that anyone knows what's the big deal with that. Other than that, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys do want more of these discussions, please make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I really appreciate everyone being here um, and pretty much literally um, listening to what I have to say about uh, the prior of this. So, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy, guys. Later.